Hi guys, welcome to another math mini lesson with me, Miss White. Today, by the end of our video, we would have introduced and um, hopefully be able to start being able to tell time um, on the hour and half hour. So we're gonna get started. Um, so to start off, for this video, I used Khan Academy. You don't necessarily have to use it. I enjoy using Khan Academy to teach um, for just enrichment sometimes. Um, and so it was the best way to teach this particular lesson. Okay, scholars. So we are preparing to start um, our lesson on telling time um, to the hour and to the half hour. So the first thing that you have to understand when you're trying to tell time to the hour and to the half hour is, uh, first off, this, um, the long hand, is your minute hand. So when I'm looking at the long hand, it's on the 12 right now. That means that there are zero minutes. Every number after that, right here, right here, going to erase my... So every number after that, so you see my one, my two, my three. When I'm trying to figure out minutes, I count by five, starting with the one. So I go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then when I get to 12, that would be um, my zero minutes. And so, this is our shorter hand, that is our hour hand. So our hour hand, you would, um, when you set the numbers on your hour hand, you would say them like one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 12. That's with my hour hand. And so when I'm looking at this, I see that my hour hand or my shorter hand is on three. So I know that the hour is the third hour, so I'll put it in three. And my long hand or my minute hand is on 12. And that lets me know that there, right now, it's zero minutes past three. It's only three o'clock. So I would say that it is three o'clock. So we're going to check it really quickly. We got it right. Yay. So we're going to move on to the next question. So guys, this says, which clock shows 6 o'clock? So, um, really quickly, let's review. Our long hand, is that our minute hand or our hour hand? Tell the person beside you now. Your long hand. Your long hand. Is that your minute hand or is that your hour hand? That's right. Your long hand is your hour hand. And since my hour hand is on, or not hour hand, your long hand is your minute hand. I'm sorry, friends. This is our minute hand. And since my minute hand is on 12, what did we say 12 meant? That's right. We said the 12 meant that so far zero minutes have passed in our new hour. And our shorthand is on what? That's right. Our shorthand is on six. So what hour are we in then? Because we remember we said our hour hand is our shorter hand right here. So what hour are we in? Tell the person sitting beside you now. That's right, we're in the sixth hour. So guys, when I'm looking at this, I know that I see that my hour hand or my short hand is on the six, and my long hand or my minute hand is on the 12, which means zero minutes. So from looking at this, it says, which clock shows six o'clock? I know that this clock shows six o'clock because my hour hand or my short hand is on the 6, and my long hand or my minute hand is at the 12. We 
know that this one um cannot be six o'clock because my long hand, which is my minute hand, although it is on the sixth, remember we said our minute hand, when it's on these numbers, we count them by fives, unless they're in between and you need to count by ones. But so um for the purposes of today, we won't need to count the spaces in between. We just need to know that when I'm counting my numbers, I'm going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then this would mean that there are zero minutes. So guys, how many minutes is this clock showing? It's on the 6th. Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that means I have 30 minutes. And what is my hour? I see that my shorthand is closer to my 7. So I know that even though it's not right on my 7 yet, it, I know that if this is 30, I know my time can't go back. I can, I can never go back and say that this is 6.30 because my hour hand is past 6 and it's on its way to 7. So I have to go ahead and round to 7 um, and say that that's because that's the next hour. So I'm going to say that this clock says that it is 7 for the hour. So 7 and my minutes is 30 minutes because my 6, when my minute hand is on my 6, that means... 30 minutes. When my minute hand, my long hand, is on my six, that means 30 minutes. So guys, this one we know says 7.30. We are looking for the clock that says six o'clock. So I know that I need the clock that my minute hand is on the 12 for zero minutes and my short hand or my hour hand is on the six. So let's check it. Good job, guys. You got it right. So now, guys, we have um, one more. If we're looking right here, guys, both my minute hand and my hour hand is on the 12. So I will give you 10 seconds of think time to tell me what number goes in my hour. What hour is it? And remember, I count hours by the number that I see. So what hour is it? My shorthand is on what number? That's right. My shorthand is on the 12. So I know that it is the 12 um, o'clock hour. And how many minutes have passed in 12 o'clock? In my 12, 12 o'clock hour? My long hand or my minute hand is on the 12 as well. So that means how many minutes have passed in this hour? I will give you 10 seconds of think time and then I want you to call it out to um, at the screen. How many minutes have passed in this hour? Tell me now. That's right. No minutes have passed hour yet so that means since my minute hand and my which means my long hand is on the 12 that zero minutes have passed so now we're going to check it we got it right okay so that is our mini lesson for today once again um i was using khan academy it is a free website and app um that if you just want like some extra practice for your scholar like i said i believe the age is 2 to 12. So um, I personally use it um, for my two-year-old. It works pretty well. My the my scholars that use it seem to enjoy it. So for extra, like maybe reading and math help, um, if you just want something different, um, Khan Academy is pretty cool. Okay, stop. So we're going to start our exit ticket now, guys. Um... It says, which clock says 11? I will give you 10 seconds of think time, and then 
I just want you to call out to the screen which clock says 11 o'clock. Remember that in order for the clock to say 11 o'clock, my hour hand needs to be at, with, at the 11 and my minute hand or my taller, my longer hand needs to be on the 12 for zero minutes. I will give you 10 seconds of think time to look at these clocks and figure out which one says 11 o'clock. Which one do you think says 11 o'clock? Let's see if you got it correct. That's right. If you said that this clock right here said 11, you are correct. I know that this is correct because my minute hand is on the 12, which means that zero minutes have passed in my hour. And my short hand or my hour hand is pointing to the 11. So that lets me know that it is 11 o'clock. So good job. Give yourselves a silent pat on the back because you did an amazing job. We have one more. Um, guys, looking at this, show, tell me the clock that says 4.30. Okay, let's see how you did. Um, that is correct. If you chose this clock on the end, this clock says 430. I know that because we talked about earlier. If I am um, counting the numbers on my clock, I know my hour hand. I count, or so that's my short hand. I would count the norm, numbers like normal. So one, two, three, four, like that. But my minute hand, which is my longer hand, I would count by five. So I would go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. And so once again, and we had an example like this in the problems earlier. Um, I know that this says 430, even though this isn't exactly on the four. Um, it's not on the four because the hour, because it's getting closer to the five o'clock hour. And as it gets closer, um, the hour hand will come closer to the five, but until it hits the five, it's not five o'clock. So I know that this is still 430. So guys, I had a blast learning with you today. I will see you again next week for another math mini lesson.